It's time for the Wii Sports Resort Review for the Wii. Now before I begin, I have to say that this game was requested by Mega James 12 but because I now own the game, it has been taken out of the Magical Chicken because I own it. And this goes for any other requested games. If you request a game, but I buy it sometime after you requested it, I will take the request out of the Magical Chicken, post your name in my next review hint on my YouTube profile, and review the game ASAP. Now, on to the review. Wii Sports Resort is the sequel to the free game that comes when purchasing a new Wii system, Wii Sports. In the original Wii Sports, there are only five games to choose from, but in Wii Sports Resort, Nintendo went crazy with it and added more than double the amount with 12 games to choose from. When you first start the game, there will be a little instructional video explaining the peripheral that comes with Wii Sports Resort, the Wii Motion Plus. This is a little block that you plug into the bottom of your Wiimote that will enhance the Wiimote's precision when you're playing the game. So after the video is complete, you find yourself or one of your Mii's from your own Mii channel inside a plane who is about to jump out and skydive towards Woohoo Island. I don't know why the game chose to use one of my cats to be the one to jump out, but oh well. This is actually one of the games in Wii Sports Resort, but we'll get to it later. After you land on Woohoo Island, you are now free to play any of the 12 games it has to offer. So let's start with swordplay. In this game, your main objective is to knock your opponent off of the platform and into the water using play swords. Sorry guys, this is a knee for everyone game, so don't expect to see any blood. Anyway, to swing your sword, just swing your Wiimote and hold down the B button to block. Whoever knocks his or her opponent off two out of the three times wins. Now, there is a debate to whether you can just flail the Wiimote like crazy to knock your opponent off. This might work in the beginning rounds, but when you start to climb the ladder, it does become harder and in my opinion, flailing will get you nowhere. Since I can tell this is going to be a long review, I'm just going to say that each game offers sub-mini-games based off of the main game. Like in Swordplay, there are two other games that are based around using a sword. As much as I would like to, I'm not going to go into all of them. For one, it will just take too long, and two, I don't want to tell you guys all the details of the game, so I'll just let it be a surprise. The second game is Wakeboarding. In this game, your main objective is to score as many points as possible within a given amount of time by landing tricks with your wakeboard. To do this, hold your Wiimote horizontally, and just as you're about to go off of a wake, quickly jerk the Wiimote to perform a trick, which, if you land correctly, will gain you points. The Wiimote has to be virtually perfectly horizontal for you to land your tricks. If you don't land them correctly, you will not gain any points. Successfully, consecutive tricks will increase the amount of points you gain with each trick. The third game is Frisbee Dog. In this game, all you have to do is throw a frisbee in a certain targeted area and have your dog catch it. Where your dog catches it determines how many points you will receive. There's even a balloon challenge where you can pop balloons to gain extra points. To throw your frisbee, just fling your Wiimote in the general direction of where your target is. I'm not that great at real frisbee, so this game didn't appeal to me in the beginning, but now it's not that bad. There's also Frisbee Golf, but if you suck like me at throwing a frisbee, you might not find it that enjoyable. The fourth game is Archery. This was the most anticipated game for me when I watched the E3 demo of Wii Sports Resort. It's very simple. Just shoot your targets closest to the bullseye to receive points. This game uses the nunchuck along with the Wiimote. If you're right-handed, you'll use the Wiimote in your left hand, the nunchuck in your right, and vice versa for left-handed people. To pull back on the string of your bow, hold down the Z button and pull back the nunchuck away from your Wiimote to simulate a real bow. This is one of my favorite games in Wii Sports Resort. The fifth game is Basketball. There are two games associated with the main principle, three-point contest and pickup game. In three-point contest, you are given one minute to shoot 25 basketballs into a hoop to receive points. Regular basketballs are worth one point, and the money balls are worth two. Now in pickup game, this is a three-on-three, three-minute watered-down version of a game of basketball. Now at first, it might look boring and not even worth playing, but it's actually pretty fun once you start. To shoot the ball, press B, raise the Wiimote, and give it a nice little flick. It really does matter how far away and how much force you put into shooting the ball, aim and shoot carefully. I thought I'd never say it, but I think this is actually my favorite game in Wii Sports Resort. It's even more fun when you're playing with a friend. The sixth game is Table Tennis. I'm sure everyone knows how this game works, but to make it official, the main objective is to score the most points by trying to knock the ball out on your opponent's side of the table. You can even put a spin on the ball, which was a nice and realistic touch. What's not so realistic is the amount of force you put into your swing. It doesn't matter if you try to tap the ball or try to send it to Pluto. Any different amount of force you put into your swing will not send the ball back at your opponent at different speeds. It's still a fun game, but I think it could have been better. The seventh game is golf. Now wait a minute, wasn't golf in the original Wii Sports? Yep, it sure was, and they've brought it back in Resort. Why, you ask? Honestly, I don't know either, but I'm guessing it's to make use of the Wii Motion Plus. Now in the original Wii Sports, I really like the golf game. With Resort, not so much. Why? Because the Wii Motion Plus can make it so that your golf swing can be too sensitive and slice your ball into the rough. There are new golf courses in Resort, and instead of just a maximum of 9 holes, Nintendo delivered all 18 for our enjoyment. Problem is, you might get so frustrated with the sensitivity of the Wii Motion Plus, you won't make it past your third hole. 
This next thing isn't really a downside, but more of me and my siblings being picky. Just like in the original Wii Sports, the measuring system is way off. Look at that! That is NOT 3.5 feet away! I don't know why it's like this for either game, but it is. The eighth game is bowling. Yep, just like with golf, Nintendo decided to add bowling to the list. And, just like golf, I did not enjoy it like I did with the original Wii Sports. It's all due to the Wii Motion Plus. I don't know what happened with golf and bowling, but in my opinion, the Wii Motion Plus just decreases the fun in both of these games, because it made the controls for both of them just too sensitive. The ninth game is power cruising. Like in archery, this game uses the nunchuck as well. The main objective is to get to the finish line while going through rings, which will give you points. To steer, hold both the Wiimote and Nunchuck like you were on a jet ski, hold down the A button to move forward, and twist both controllers really fast to receive a boost. This game is okay. The biggest issue I have with it is the controls. Sometimes they won't react to the way you want them to, and sometimes they will. Still really a fun game to play though. The tenth game is canoeing. Now you might be thinking, canoeing? Seriously? How fun can this game really be? Well, it can be pretty fun, but probably not a game that will have you coming back to it very often. The objective is to race the clock and get to the finish line as fast as you can. If you want, you don't even have to race. You can just paddle around for as long as you want. All you have to do is simulate the motion of paddling like you were in a real canoe. That's it. It can be more fun when you're racing a friend as well, but still, the problem, in my opinion, is... well... There are other games out there that are just more fun and exciting to play. For me, this is my least liked game. Not because it's bad, it's just not my cup of tea. But if you're a person who wants a nice and smooth game, this is the one for you. The eleventh game is cycling. In this game, you race around the island on different routes trying to finish in first place. You will use the Wiimote and Nunchuck and pedal with your hands. This control scheme is good for the most part. The real problem is the steering. You will have to move both the Wiimote and Nunchuck to the right and left to turn on corners. Why is this a problem? Because you're pedaling at the same time with your hands, and the motion sensors can become evil and not register when and where you want to turn, and it becomes very frustrating. I think they should have mapped the steering controls to the joystick and the nunchuck. The last game is air sports. There are three mini-games in this category, skydiving, island flyover, and dogfight. With skydiving, your main objective is to link to other people for a picture, which, in the end, will give you points. The more people you link to and took a good picture, the more points you will get in the end. Your Mii acts as the Wiimote, so whichever direction you move and turn with the Wiimote, that's where your Mii will Go. In Island Flyover, you get to fly your very own personal aircraft. The main objective in this game is to collect information about the island. How do you do this? Well, there are 80 points of location that will give you information about that spot. You will receive special prizes when you obtain more and more information about the island. The controls are basically the same for your plane as when you're skydiving. You can push forward on the Wemo to give your plane a boost of speed, or push it back to slow your speed. It may not look like it, but this is one of the most addicting games in Wii Sports Resort. In Dogfight, your main objective is to have more balloons at the end of the game than your opponent. You can shoot down the balloons that linger behind on your opponent's plane, and collect balloons that are scattered in various places of the island. The controls are just like they are in Island Flyover. This game is pretty fun, but it has a major flaw. There's no on-screen map. You will basically have to memorize the island, which isn't that hard after a while of playing, but still, it would have made this game more fun if there was an on-screen map. The graphics look just like they did in the original Wii Sports. Very cartoony, but that isn't a bad thing, since it's pretty much supposed to look like this. Throughout the game, you will win stamps by completing certain scenarios in each game that can reward you with different difficulty levels or more options to play during different times of the day. Wii Sports Resort is a very good game. Good graphics, very good controls for the most part, does a good job of showing off the Wii Motion Plus's capabilities, and has a great selection of games. The only downsides that I found were that 1. Some of the control schemes could have been tuned up or down for some certain games, and 2. If you want to play with your friends, you you will have to fork over an extra 20 bucks for each Wii Motion Plus you want to get, because you will not be able to play Wii Sports Resort unless you are hooked up with the Wii Motion Plus. But overall, this is a really fun game to play. It's a big step up from the original Wii Sports, and it can be a great party game. This game gets a 3.75 out of 5, with the title of Awesome.